Does anybody else feel like they need a private beach? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. My name is Haley. I am the author of HaleyWithAFlare.com, which is a travel and lifestyle blog. And welcome to day two of my Vlogmas. I've made the crazy decision this month to vlog every day. I've never done this before. Um, I tend to go in waves. And especially with 2020, I am in a lot of waves. 2020 was a rough year, but going through some of my old footage, I realized that I have not talked with you guys here on YouTube about Passion Island Cozumel. So obviously we talked about Cozumel yesterday and I just have little excerpts of videos that I never fully planned out. I try to have a storyline. I'm trying to get better at this <laughs> where I plan out videos from start to finish. But um, these were just like little pieces. I was able to make great IGTV videos out of it, great TikToks out of it, but I never really felt like I had a lot to make a full YouTube video out of. So I'm going to show you a quick little glimpse here at, right after this video of what the island looks like and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. So let's go. So to get to Passion Isle, you either have to take a ferry or a boat. So we opted for a boat rental again with Cosmo Yacht Tours, did a little fishing on the way up. It's about a 45 minute boat ride from the main central area in Cozumel and what a gorgeous boat ride. This place is beautiful. As soon as you arrive, there is a dock, but we decided to hop off and snorkel a little bit. As we made our way to the shore, we had this island to ourselves. Now keep in mind, there are some cruise ships that do excursions here, but on the off chance you can get here when there's no cruise ships, there are only a very few, you will have this beautiful place to yourself. There are loungers that you can pay to rent. The water is clear and beautiful. So, I mean, how gorgeous is that place? And to have it practically to ourselves was amazing. If you are going to go there when travel starts back up, try to go on a day when there are less cruise ships in port or on the shoulder times of the cruise ships because some of the cruise lines like Norwegian, um, they do excursions up to Passion Isle. And even if you're on another cruise line, keep that in mind too. It is, it is beautiful. I've easily been to Cosmel probably about a dozen times and had never been here. And Tim from Cosmel Yacht and Excursions, I'll put his link down here, was just amazing. And he recommended it to us. So we opted to rent him and his crew again for half the day and went up there. It was just, it was beautiful. It was relaxing. I mean, the only times I've seen similar things were like when I went to a cruise line's private island. For those of you that are newer on this channel, I pride myself in being a off the beaten path kind of girl. And I was so surprised with this destination that a lot of my cruise friends had actually never heard of it as well. I'm that type of person that, you know, gets off of a cruise ship or gets off of a plane wherever I am. And I try to plot out places that people don't typically go to, you know can't be a typical tourist kind of thing. But you know, I want to find those places that are local, that, you know, are just a better place to spend your money. Not saying that big agencies don't have their place in the tourism industry, but you know, and a lot of destinations have kind of had an over tourism issue. Finding the little guy, the mom and pop shop is, you know, is my goal. And I would prefer to spend my money in places like those. So. That's what was really neat about Cosmel, and when we planned that trip, it was a really last minute trip. I booked it about two and a half weeks before we went, because you know, with, with COVID, we've been watching, you know, the cases and whatnot, just making sure that it's semi-safe and having traveled, if you guys haven't seen it, I do have a video of my travel day with American Airlines. Overall, I felt pretty good. I felt pretty safe. You know, they're constantly wiping things down and that doesn't even happen in a grocery store near me. So it felt good and it felt great. But just going to Cozumel and seeing it in another light was truly, 
It was truly something to behold. I mean, that port usually gets 70 to 80,000 cruise passengers a week. They get about 4.5 million cruise visitors a year. And it was so heartbreaking seeing some of these shops just closed up. So spending money locally was a way that I felt like I could really give back and I would do it again and I would recommend it if you feel safe, if you feel healthy at the, you know, these, these days anything's a risk, but it's